I did it, tubers. I made a tube channel. Thank you. Everyone, hold your applause. Yeah, you're too kind. You're too kind. All right, shut up. Everybody shut up. So you might be asking yourself, who is this moderately handsome guy that's on my TV slash phone screen right now? If you don't know, I'm Robbie. I'm into cars and I like to party. Trying to get it. Trying to get it. I can feel it when he around me. He ain't built his way. He ain't struggle over money. He ain't felt no pain. He never put it with me. Now you trying to paper chase. I told him get it how you live it. Find a better way. He said, body on the rip. I'm just trying to lay a rich. I don't need no pistol on me. Just a play for this. So currently, I have four cars. The 32 sedan, this 350Z, the LS430, and a 240SX that's a straight bucket that we're trying to save. Hashtag save the shit boxes. For today, we are going to be driving the 350Z. Ooh, I know, I know. Hey, it's okay. Save the hate. I know that this is the official fuckboy car of all hard parkers slash drifters, but there is a reason why it is so common. It is a very, very solid car, especially to start with. I've personally always liked the way it looks. And I mean, straight out of the box, you can get this thing for under 10 grand. Sometimes you can get it under five grand and it's pretty ready to party most of the time you can get it. I mean, you don't have to do much. This one, I'm just running PBM coilovers, PBM angle kit, welded diff. That's all you really need to do. Quick breakdown. It is a stock DE. So the slowest engine that they made in this car, it does burn oil. So you gotta make sure you check the oil before you start the car and check it frequently. Nothing really crazy done to it. It's not the fastest thing, but it gets the job done. And then the hood doesn't like to close because it needs to get that extra cooling. These, I even got the custom headlight cooler. You guys don't know anything about that. Go into the interior, Sparkle Sprint seats. These are like the cheapest SFI approved seats that you can rock, gets the job done. I'd rather have brights, but my bank account says no. Takata straps, harnesses I mean, vertex steering wheel, so I can feel a little cool when I'm driving. Come around the back, this is a quick breakdown. These are some things that you wanna have on and off the track, mainly when you try to drive a more track inspired car on the street. So I have the spare here, not too much tread, but it will get me where I need to go. If I do get a D beat or a flat, got the jack, the big boy jack, the Harbor Freight special, some tools. Of course you got the zip ties. And then uh, the fire extinguisher is pretty important. Oh, wheel setup, real quick. I am running 18 by 11s in the rear. Fine hearts, 245-40, not the best setup for grip. 225-40 up front. There's some Federal RSRs. <coughs> some pretty good tires, but I am cambered out. We can talk more on the way, I guess. Everything looks good when you're this high. All day we grind just to get by. Everything's all good on the west side. Stay live, that's the cup. Why do you cut me off and go slower? actually came here once before it started handling really hard on me and i was on some terry cruz looking ass tires so i had to turn around and come back so now we're coming back tires a little better still looking like lebron's hairline but it's enough i mean i'm not trying to break any records it should be fun okay we are i don't even know if you could say a half might be a quarter up the road but i just wanted to kind of stop and see the view I would say if it's your, you know, if you're just learning to drive, coming up here, you might want to be careful because uh, most of it is like this over here. You'll just kind of fall down a cliff if you don't know what you're doing or you're driving out of your comfort zone. Yeah, I would definitely suggest going to autocross events until you learn better control of your car or if you come up here, just stay in your comfort zone. You don't want to be that guy that goes off the cliff. Wow, what a cool shot. Okay, let's just go down the hill. Let's get this over with. I got the mic. I'm trying to be mic'd up for you guys. Gotta let you guys be able to hear me over my trumpet exhaust. I'm gonna look a little goofy for a little bit. Can you hand me the water, please? Here we go, water cup challenge. So we're gonna pour maybe up to there. I think that's enough. I mean, let's get the GoPro going. Now you guys can see my girlfriend who's holding the camera for us. I'm not sure what to do with my hands. And we are gonna try this and hope that I can do this. Oh, here come some bikers. We'll give them a little bit of a head start. Just keep it kind of on that. Okay. 
I mean, okay, all right, hold on, time out. I mean, if you're going down any hill, you're already at a disadvantage. I don't know how you save the tofu or the water. Oh, God. Okay. Get hammered down a little. on this road and just like overall traffic. Hey, we got it. Oh gosh. How are we doing right now? Oh no, your socks. I'm sorry. Oh no, my socks. Okay, all right, let's see. Be smoother. Be smoother, Rob. Be smoother. I'm not gonna downshift anymore. I'll just keep it in third. Gosh, I can just build a rear end one to break out so bad. Power through, power through. There we go. I think if you're more butter on the ship. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. If you're a little more butter on the shifts, I, I think it's easier. Like you just can't be really be banging gears. Maybe you could do this on a straight flat track. Ah, my deck. I think we're at a level uh, where the water isn't gonna spill out too much anymore. Oh, never mind. Wow, what a nice view. And we caught up to the Accord already. Wow, this Accord is cock blocking on the most fun part of this whole road. Wow, look at that. That thing is pretty cool. Little mini coops. If I put a anime line, do you think this will look more epic? Go, go, go. We're in an intense battle. New, you're on your brake too hard. Like a lobster. What extraordinary speed! I've never seen such speed. All right. Well, we're down the road. I would say that wasn't too bad. If I was going faster, probably would have lost the majority of the water. I do have one more test. Judging by how this went, it's probably going to be a mess. I think the trick is to be as smooth as possible with your shifts, your braking. Your cornering, which is something that I don't have the capability of doing, apparently. But also, this road is pretty ass. We are in an area, they're letting me do some donuts, and we're gonna try to see if I can do donuts and keep the water in the water cup. So I think that if I'm really, really smooth, I think I can do it. But let's just see. have any ideas for driver challenges that I should do because I'm definitely down for more stuff like this. I have a couple ideas for content. I'm gonna drop videos like this, keep it fun. I'll also be dropping skits on this channel and I will be dropping educational videos as well. You know, if you like it, if you thought it was cool, subscribe. There's definitely gonna be more. I will maybe see you guys next time. Hopefully, I'll miss you guys in the meantime. I can't even find reverse. All right, I'm out of here, B.